In this Service 7, we're covering a difficult but important concept, the difference between patient satisfaction and patient happiness. They may sound similar, but they're very different. Patient satisfaction is a big part of what we do, but looking beyond the patient's office visit can help promote overall well-being, improve outcomes, and make a big difference in population health. Here are seven strategies to do just that. Number one, get the full picture. A doctor's visit may not make someone's happiness soar, but health is more than just the absence of physical hardship or disease. The World Health Organization describes health as a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being. Current health assessments struggle to capture how people experience their lives and how healthy they really are, so it's up to you to learn more. Next, understand the difference. The most important factors for patient satisfaction, like clear information from the doctor, have little to no impact on happiness. In fact, frequent office visits are linked to higher patient satisfaction, but lower happiness. Studies show unhappy people visit their doctor more, which promotes patient satisfaction, but not happiness. Third, expand your focus. Overall happiness is strongly linked to social and mental well-being, so don't focus solely on satisfaction. Instead, pay closer attention to patient lifestyle. Encourage your organization to create mental and social well-being programs and share them with your patients. Number four, identify predictors of happiness. Anything that impacts someone's ability to function normally in daily life is a more accurate predictor of overall happiness than behavior and objective health status. Ask about key indicators like loneliness, stress management, and sleep patterns. Fifth, broaden the conversation. Care isn't just about someone's illnesses and treatments, it's about their lives. Taking time to discuss mental and social issues strengthens the bond between care providers and patients and may help improve satisfaction scores and overall happiness. Number six, cover them both. Several factors improve patient satisfaction and happiness. Feeling that the system provides sufficient financial support, feeling that their condition's impact on their mental health is fully appreciated, and trusting their clinician's ability to treat the condition. Learn your patient's feelings on these issues and support them as best you can to maximize satisfaction and happiness. Finally, at number seven, the bottom line, a major impact. Happy patients generally require fewer office visits and enjoy a better quality of life. Investing in happiness can help millions of people and save billions of dollars, so it's worth it. That's our Service 7. Keep these tips in mind to go beyond satisfaction and help patients live happier, healthier lives.